let's see what she can do. Big green main machine. Bit of elbows action, but that's a strange already. Oh. I'm on a very sporty bike right now. This is very, very strange. <laughs> very curled up. I need to remember how good these brakes are as well. Okay, so what the hell am I doing? I'm on a 2019 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R 6 a 3 a 6. Um, having never ridden a, a super sport bike before, I can say it is quite alienating. <laughs> um, I had a bit of the, an initial cramp when I got on it, but just just rolling out of the dealership now doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> oh, that's the one. Oh, I just quick shifted. Okay, mate, fourth gear. It feels like a weapon in fourth doing thirty. Oh god, okay. Right. I'm gonna die. Steering is odd. You just sort of wiggle it. Oh man, I don't know. It feels peppy, I'll give it that. Oh my god, the brakes. The brakes are good. So I'm in full power traction control one which is the lowest amount of traction control he fucking he put me in this mode when i left the dealership he showed me all the modes and then put it back in this mode i was like damn son you're confident <laughs> oh okay. uh, yeah wait fourth gear just does it all you don't really need to change gear how is this a 600? Everyone pisses and moaning like, oh, 600 isn't enough, blah, blah, blah. Mate, this seems more than adequate thus far. Oh, hello, hello. So I missed the bus out. So I can sort of do this sitting up and ride one-handed thing. How much? Oh, I can go back a long way actually. Find my ideal position. Hello. Something's going on. Something's going on down there. Got these bits. My knees be higher up. I wonder. I do feel a bit perched. Shall we say? And the cranked over position is already like, whoa! I just hope that the camera angle's alright on the helmet. I turned it, I rotated it up. I tried to guess how much I need to rotate it up. Uh, this is just a guess. Can't really do a test run. Since I don't have a sport bike of my own, I'm not sure what the angle should be. Mm, tasty. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Goodness me. It seems very compliant though. I was getting distracted. 
the brakes feel magnanimous. I need to get this on a twisty road ASAP. So he said, I've got it for an hour. I took it out at 10.15. So I reckon I can... What kind of route can I do? power of the super sport flowing through my veins feels good get it in first is interesting as well <laughs> what the fuck slip a clutch doing good work there Colts in I want one I want one tell you what though I'm fucking warm I'm not getting any wind because of this fairing. Quick shift is nice though. It just kind of does it for you. Even at low speed it's fine. You can just go boop. This will be an interesting top follow. Feel good. Why are we all pulling over? Wait, Quick Shifter is chilling even in town. I'm so okay with that. Right, let's not let's not get a speeding ticket. <laughs> when I took it out, they made me do a disclaimer. It says, any speeding tickets you get are yours. <laughs> uh, he also said, go and have some fun, but not too much fun. <laughs> oh. It feels, I was expecting like fucking hecticness, like uh, doesn't want to do, you know, like doesn't want to go in a straight line, hectic, but it's just like, it feels firm, but like planted. I'll go over this bump. It's like, yeah just like you know there's a bump but it doesn't launch you I don't know it's just riding a bike a decent bike really I mean this is a top of the line shit or near enough that I won't notice you know this is like a super bike I'm riding a super bike well super sport same thing really it's pretty exciting I will say oh. The fuck? Yeah. Stalled. How do I start this bitch? Does it have to be in neutral? I oh, know the clutch has to be all the way in. Interesting. Well, that's embarrassing. Although, I'm on a test ride, so shit happens. Shit happens, I guess. Okay, so. If you stall and you have to start it again, you can't just be two finger in the clutch in. Even though it kills the engine, you have to pull that bitch all the way in for the switch to, to stop. You know, for the whatever, there's some kind of, must be some kind of switch in place that stops them. Good to know. Good to know. So all you two finger boys out there, like me, <laughs> gotta pull that clutch all the way in. I don't want to give it back. I've had it for 15 minutes already. There will come a point where I've got to decide, do I turn back or do I continue and try and do my ambitious loop? 
at which point I will probably be continuing doing my ambitious route. Route loop. It's quite difficult to learn to hold yourself up in a different way with your core instead of your arms. I mean, you shouldn't put pressure on the bars anyway, but this forces you to do it properly. I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, get used to that position. <laughs> my back, it's my back that's the issue, maybe I need to do some of this, no, don't know where to sit, don't know what to do with myself, let's just get it on a country road, smile through the pain, that's the way, that run though, gee whiz, <laughs> it's not even my bike. And I'm giving it Billy Big Bollocks. Filtering, tick. Don't stall. Whatever you do. Forty. So quick. You do forget about the pain quite quickly as soon as you start accelerating. You're bewitched by the super sport prowess. Mirrors are shaking when it's idling. Why am I pointing this? I mean, look at this thing. And I'm pointing that out. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. And everything I say, I have to be like, people are going to watch this, you know. I've got to try not to say embarrassing phrases like, gee whiz. <laughs> Quick shift is so strange. I mean, you can use it at low speeds, but just don't expect smooth results. But is it any smoother than I could get it, you know? I mean, here's me doing it. It's it's no smoother than the quick shifter. In fact, it's just the only reason my version is slower is smoother because I'm doing it slower. Whereas the quick shifter just fucking gets on with it, so it's not gonna be as smooth. But when you're going quick, you need to change as quick as possible. That's why the quick shifter's smooth when you're going quickly. It all makes sense. It all makes sense, right? My ambitious loop is beginning. Rev matching's all right, it's all right. Would like to see what I look like on it, but we don't have that luxury. It gets up to speed, very little drama. I do feel good on it. I'm still in the wind mine. My lower half isn't there. I'll just check with lower half. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not in the wind. Okay. Yeah, I'll just check with the with the lower half. She's fine. It's confidence inspiring. You expect to, you know, raise a sharp fuck up when you die sort of experience, but instead you get a nice sort of, yeah, I can do corners really fucking quick, but I'm not going to kill you kind of vibe. That's what this bike is, it's, I can go quick as fuck, but I don't want to kill you. It's nice. Whereas I was just expecting, I want to go quick as fuck, I don't care if you die. So, it's already, it's already a bit of personality there, you know, it wants to look after you. It's got ABS. It's got traction, it's got low power mode. So if it's raining shit, stick it in low power, get the traction on max, you get home safe. Twin LEDs up front, every bitch is gonna see you from a mile off. You know? I like it. I like it a lot. But I can't afford it just yet. No, no, no. Maybe next month or the month after that or Christmas. <laughs> Oh. Mm. It just feels good. It's 
sounds good as well. For a stock bike, it sounds sensational. It feels nice too, just to do this. Like what it was meant to do. Whereas when I do that on my Hornet, it's like... Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> Whereas this is like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, and this green. So green. Yeah, no, no, I'm liking it too much. Financial problems incoming. I was sat at the desk in the dealership and he was looking at my license and I was just browsing the like the business cards that he had on his desk and I took I picked up the one for um, motorcycle insurance the prices we won't be beat and he just looked at me out the corner of his eye like logo there's fucking jeepskate oh he can't afford it and he was bang on he was bang on The sport bike boys. Oof. I can actually barely see the traffic light without cranking my neck upwards. Like it's that much of a hunkered down sort of thing. Oh look, there's a dogger. <laughs> Please don't stall. Please don't stall. Okay. I can actually ride. Oh, quick shift is nice when you're in a bed. You know you're getting that smooth shift when you want it, when you don't want to break traction. Mate, you, you really don't have to push the bike very hard to get some serious speed. Like, you can just go sort of smooth fast really easily. Really nice. I'm in second now, going 50. Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> oh. I sincerely hope we're recording because this is some good stuff. There's no question over will it handle this bend. I am not even close to finding out the limits of this bike. And that is so confident. It sounds bad, but that is so confidence inspiring. Because it's like, Muggins here. I'm not going to fucking upset the bike unless I'm a proper twat. Just take it sort of, you know, how, how you should, like a normal human being. And it's like, yeah, this is not a problem. Like, this is never going to be an issue for this bike, doing road speed. And that is nice. Whereas on my bike, you don't have to think. I, don't, I mean, I guess it's taught me a lot. You know, it teaches you how to ride properly, because this just does it all for you. This does it all for you. Not one, well, not, not all of it. It's still pretty hardcore. But like, maybe it's because I'm going from 2006 bike to 2019. It's probably also why it feels so, you know, reassuring. Bikes have come on a little bit since 2006. I'm just finding out. So I've kind of reached my cutoff point where I've got to commit to my, my big loop sort of thing. So let's just hope I'm not too late. 
I always ride in one of them new ninjas. Oh man, I feel so cool riding this around. I do feel cool right now. I'm only testing the bleeder. Because there is a bit of jerkiness on the throttle. The only way to cure it really is to be as gentle as possible or use the clutch. I think it's a fuel injection thing or I'm just saying things that other people say now but could be fuel injection, could be Euro 4 restrictions. All I know is the spike is a bit of a madness. Oh, that's stiff, that's stiff. People probably don't mind as much being done over by one of these compared to my Hornet because it's like you see this go past you and you don't think oh I could beat that in a race no 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 I am the quickest thing for like unless another hot bike comes around I am the quickest motherfucker here like if anyone wants to challenge that it's just madness I mean yeah they could knock you off and kill you but we're talking within the realms of not killing each other. I'm gonna win, well, not me. I can't go around the corner for shit on fucking super sport. I don't know what I'm doing. Pulling away is pretty smooth. It's all, it's all just very smooth. I don't know why people want these Maybe it's because this is the new thing for me, but like... You know... Super sports are just... a super, you know, it's these sport bikes in general. It's like driving a race car on the road, it's so good, like... You get the benefits of that, like... It handles the road surface, like, no problem. Because it's just advanced, I don't, I don't know what I'm fucking saying. This bike's too good for a hood bitch like me. I'm not hood. Look, that was that was very cringe actually. Filtering test number two. Might as well whack it in neutral. Easy enough. It's fucking warm. All right. <laughs> Watch out! Don't know what that means, but I like it, mate. I feel so cool right now. I don't even think it has a trade plate on that, it just makes it even cooler. <coughs> Should imagine it'll be us soon, no. You know what, quick shifter, you're all right. Sometimes you're a bit, but actually, like that is so smooth. Just the township. Oh, that's a big bump. Not even the compliant ninja can handle that. All right, I've got. Oh, I've got. 25 minutes to get from Kidderminster to Cradley Heath. Can it be done? All the kids love a sport bike, man. All the kids love a bright green fucking sport bike. There's no two ways about it. If they've resurfaced this whole thing, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip my jism. Please, not the whole thing. Yes! It's ending! Oh my god. See what this bitch can do. Don't die though. I don't think I need any more than that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, she's ready to go. I'm gonna give you what you want, don't you worry. 
<laughs> Calm down, we'll get there eventually. Jeez. What the hell am I doing on a super sport? research <clears throat> yes I'm just doing a bit of research on super sport bikes I shall report my findings back once I have them as soon as possible cooler than you cooler than you cooler than you look in the mirror cooler than you cooler than myself that's how cool I feel I'm also a massive dickhead Hello. Oh, that dog does not like bikes. This dog does though. Like some getting used to, but we knew that already, didn't we? Fourth gear, not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, stop jerking! Jerking chicken. Jumper was a mistake today. What am I doing? Slipper clutch making life easy. Wait, having a down blipper as well is just gonna be like, what do you even need to do at that point? That is nice, just going blah, blah, blah through the gears. Just with your foot. It's weird, you still feel like you're doing everything. Like, you still feel like it's a manual, but it just does the up changes for you if you fancy it. Yes, quick shifter, I'd like to go as quickly as possible through the gears. Thank you very much. Question is, what's going to shorten your life more? Smoking or ninjas? Because if it's ninjas, I'm going to take up smoking again. Because that's what this is looking like now. Perhaps the future is green. It's a good sign if I'm already vlogging. It means I'm comfortable on the bike. Probably more than I should be given what this bike is capable of. That should, should tell you what the bike's like. If someone who's never ridden a super sport can get on it and within 30 minutes feel comfortable chatting shit. Come on Deirdre. Stop dawdling Deirdre. Couple of randy bats coming up. Oopa. Steady on. Steady. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. 
question is how much trouble would I get into riding one of these around because you just want to go quickly on it that's what I want to do get on my hornet and crash on the first corner thinking it's it's this but it ain't it ain't it's a hornet That is a big red cross! No, I don't know. Could I sit on the motorway on this? Yeah, of course I could. This is the sort of bike where you just put up with stuff because it's so awesome. Not many bikes, you know. Not many bikes inspire you to put up with them like a super sport does, from what I've heard from what I'm now experiencing. Oh, you dirty fucking... Oh, I'm bewitched. Oh, those brakes. Oh. No doubt there about the stopping power. No doubt at all. This is very dangerous. Double bubble screen. So slightly less aggressive rear sets. And this would be an everyday bike. Yeah, it's, my main gripe is not actually um, anything to do with the top half. It's it's my legs. They are moy crunched up. And it's it, it. They only seem. They only hurt when you move them. But like you need to move them for the rear brake and change of gears. So get a constant reminder of how cramped up you are via that you know well I've definitely maximized the test ride I've got 10 minutes left to get back and I'm, I'm homing in as we speak uh, yeah I very much enjoyed my ride around on a 20, 2019 ZX6R look at that is that that's the Ram Air fucking sucking in air I've got my favourite old issue of my glasses digging into my head which is nice if you like pain but it is distracting me from my legs which is making me want the bike even more so you just crack on glasses you just keep digging in you're fine always oh, a noisy bugger isn't he or oh, should we do the tunnel test I think we have to, don't we? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we know now. We know it's noisy now. What's he doing? What's any of these people doing? Strange people. Sublime road super sports. I imagine it would be a uh, slightly slightly scary in the wet because this is the sort of bike that craves being lent over 
so I guess you just have to ride it conservatively. I'm sure the low power and high traction modes combined keep this well in check. Probably more more so than my Hornet, you know. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not going left, am I? I'm going straight. Could get a KFC. It's a day of frivolity. Test riding Ninjas eating KFC. It's the dream really, isn't it? Worlds apart from my little Hornet. Worlds apart. Well, we are. We're closing in now. Almost home. You've been good to me. It's time to take you home. something there's the rain don't want to give it back don't want to give it back oh look at my little hornet I'm sorry I'm sorry there's another woman in my life now One day, not today. <laughs>